Hello students. Today we will discuss the topic anti-lock brake system. So this type of brake system also known as ABS. So this type of brakes are called as anti-skid brake system because of these brakes reduces the risk of tire skidding under heavy load condition and also allows the driver to maintain steering control of the vehicle so these are also called as anti skid brake system why because they reduce the risk of tire skidding under heavy load condition and also allows the driver to maintain the steering control of the vehicle so they will not allow the tires to skid away under heavy load condition and also they will give better control of steering to the driver of the vehicle risk of tire skidding under heavy load conditions and allows driver to maintain steering control of the vehicle so we can say that this anti lock brake system operates under heavy load braking or on slipping surface conditions so they work on they operate when anti skid or anti lock brake system operates under heavy load braking that is when the vehicle is carrying a heavy load and brake is applied or on skidding or slipping surface condition so how do they work so this anti brake system that is abs will calculate the required slip rate of the wheels accurately based on the vehicle speed and the speed of the wheels and then controls the brake fluid pressure to achieve the target slip rate so first of all what does this abs do is it will calculate the required slip rate of the vehicle for example if the slip rate is some 2 degrees okay this is the required slip rate then based on the speed of the vehicle and the speed of the wheel if the slip rate of the vehicle is less it will increase the slip rate by controlling the brake fluid pressure okay if the slip rate is more then it will decrease the slip rate by controlling the brake fluid pressure and it will achieve the target slip rate okay so first of all it will calculate the required slip rate of the vehicle of the vehicle wheels accurately so first it will calculate let us consider it as for example it is 2 then so how does it calculate based on the vehicle speed and the speed of the wheels 
and then it will control the brake fluid pressure to achieve the target slip rate so if the target slip rate is 5 then it will increase the brake fluid pressure and achieve this target slip rate okay so although the anti lock brake system prevents complete locking of the wheels in practice it allows some wheel slip in order to attain the best possible braking so anti lock brake system prevents complete locking okay it will not completely lock the wheels wheels in practice but it allows some wheel slip so some wheel slip is allowed in order to attain the best possible braking so at the time of applying brakes on the brake pedal by the driver in conventional braking system is a different than the abs so conventional braking system and applying brake in conventional braking system and that of the abs is different is different than ab yes that is anti lock brake system so modern anti lock brake system consists of an electronic control unit so it has an electronic control unit an individual sensor is connected to each wheel of the vehicle all the sensors are controlled by electronically driven hydraulic pump and an accumulator so let us write the parts of abs so the main parts are it consists of an electronic control unit okay then there are sensors that is individual sensors for each wheel connected to each wheel of vehicle then then there are so sensors are controlled by electronically driven hydraulic pump so hydraulic pump which is driven electronically and it controls the sensors okay and then there is one more part that is the accumulator so functions of accumulator is to start the hydraulic fluid to maintain high pressure in the braking system so what does the accumulator do it will start the hydraulic fluid it starts the hydraulic fluid to maintain high pressure in the braking system so an accumulator is charged with n2 gas that is nitrogen gas it is charged with n2 that is nitrogen gas so this electronic control unit which we have discussed here controls and monitors the anti lock function as and when required so what does this 
ECU do ECU that is electronic control unit. It controls and monitors the anti lock function as and when required. So, in some ABS, a lateral accelerator sensor is also provided to monitor the lateral movement of the vehicle while taking a turn. So, here you can see a simple ABS system how it is provided with the different type of parts. So, this is the front disc brakes, this is the metering valve, there is a proportionating valve here okay then there is a pressure differential valve in this place this is the power brake unit okay so these are the rear drum brakes how the connection is made is seen here then brake warning light so as i was saying so in some abs that is anti lock brake system a lateral accelerator sensor is provided to monitor so what is the function of the sensor it is they will sense and they will monitor the lateral side lateral side movement of the vehicle while taking turn so this also ensures proper braking at the time of taking the turn so because of this lateral sensor even when you take turn and apply brakes there will be proper braking at the time of taking the turn also. So, electronically driven hydraulic pump is also called as hydraulic booster. It has four brake outlet lines connecting to each wheel. So, the electronically driven hydraulic pump is called as the hydraulic booster electrically driven hydraulic pump is called as hydraulic booster so it has four outlet brake lines connecting to each wheel so you can see there are four brake lines outlet brake lines which are connected to each wheel so these are the front disc brakes that is they are connected to the front wheels and here you can see rear drum brakes which are connected to the rear wheels or wheels on the back side. So working of the ABS. The sensor of each wheel provides the varying voltage signal to the electronical control unit of the brake system. Then the ECU that is electronic control unit computes the voltage signal and compares it with the programmable information and determines whether a wheel is about to lock or skid. So in this way this ABS works. So what the first thing done here is the sensors of each wheel. So as I have already told you each wheel consists of one sensor so these sensors will provide 
the varying voltage so all the sensors are electronically operated they will send the varying voltage to voltage signal to the ecu that is electronic control unit of the brake system so this ecu will then compute the that is it will calculate the ecu computes the received voltage signals and then compare it with the programming or programmed programmable information that is it already has some information present okay so it will compare it with that information whether the voltage is within range of this information or not if the voltage is not within the range then what happens it will then determine whether the wheel is about to skid or is it about to get locked and then it determines so all the work is done with the help of this ecu unit itself whether a wheel is about to lock or skid so this is the working of the anti lock brake system i hope you have understood the topic thank you